So um, the RIPE NCC is the registry for internet resources, IP addresses and ASNs for uh, Europe, Middle East and Central Asia. Um, we get our mandate from our membership and the community and we do serve the RIPE community and the internet community at large. Um, what we are planning on doing and focusing uh, moving forward is we have three pillars when it comes to community engagement. Uh, the first one is community building and engagement, uh, where we are building uh, and fostering environments uh, for uh, discussion and dialogues uh, so that people can uh, benefit from the different experiences. The other one would be community learning and development, where we are working on enhancing the skills and teaching new uh, technical uh, best practices uh, to the different members and community members. And last but not least, community collaboration and cooperation, where we do see ourselves as a part of a bigger puzzle in trying to make sure that um, we have good cooperation with uh, intergovernmental bodies, standardizing bodies and, and the such. And between those three pillars is, is exactly what we are defining now as our external engagement and community. At the RIPE NCC, uh, I did mention that we do have different ways of doing engagement. And the way that we determine the best one is by looking at two different criteria. The first one being the ability to execute and, and self-coordinate within the community. The second one being uh, the knowledge level and experience within that community. And between these two axes, you end up with four stages of evolution within any community, which helps dictate to us what engagement would be the most effective that we can go in with, whether it's, it's uh, learning and development, whether it's building in communities, or whether it's collaboration and cooperation. And between those, we end up figuring out the best way to do this. So, uh, and we define it per technology. So uh, a certain community or country could be very well in one technology and not that great with the other one. At the RIPE NCC, we have been for a couple of years now looking into how can we do more online engagements. Uh, we've been preparing this because we do look after a very vast geographical region. We have more than 70 countries that uh, are within our service region, that have membership, and there are a lot of uh, countries that have also secondary markets in them, not necessarily the main capitals. Uh, and for us to be able to scale what we're doing in terms of capacity building, we have been looking for a couple of years and doing a lot of online engagement. Now, with the pandemic happening, uh, it really made it uh, very uh, potent that this was something that was basically going to be the way forward. So we do have a lot of like e-learning for, for, for our learning and development aspects of it. We're doing a lot of certifications that people can do from home rather than going and attending a, a physical workshop as they used to. But also when it comes to doing the community building and engagement activities, uh, we're looking into doing uh, a lot more hybrid events. We have been doing virtual for the past two years, but moving forward we are investing more in doing hybrid where people, whether they are at the physical location or at their home, they get the, fa uh, the, the same first level uh, uh, citizen experience in both.